<laughs> Hi, this is Steve Van Diemen. I'm with Createx Colors today, and I'm gonna show you how to do a relic job on a mini hood using Createx. Do I need to say that? Okay. So I have most of this masked off. I'm gonna kind of finish masking off the middle of this. I laid out some little rally stripes on here just so it's not just all one color. Give it a little bit of interest. So I'm gonna leave the rally stripes white and then we're just gonna spray blue over the rest of it. So it could be like a Camaro hood or a Chevelle or something like that in miniature. So there's that. It's already been scuffed, ready to paint. So I'm gonna grab the gun and blast some blue on that. So one thing when you're doing this type of project, the blue that I sprayed on here, it doesn't need to be perfectly solid. It could be sporadic. You can leave some light spots. That'll kind of add to the look when it's over. Now I'm just gonna peel the tape off. So you can see the stripes. Another cool thing about this is if you're trying to make something look a little bit messed up, you don't need to be so worried about cleaning everything or dust or any of that stuff. Sometimes that can add to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give this a little bit of an oxidation effect. That's really easy to do. All you need is a squirt bottle with some water in it. Just randomly squirt it over the surface. And I'm gonna use Illustration white for this. You can kind of spray air over the droplets so that they're not so perfectly round. And then just kind of dust randomly some of that illustration white over the surface. Don't get it real uniform at all. Just be real random with it. And then after you do that, you can take a towel and just kind of dab some of the water off. And all it's gonna do is just leave where the droplets were. Give it, again, that little, I call it an oxidation effect. It's very subtle, but it makes the difference when the whole thing's said and done. Just like that. And if you don't like an area, you can just wipe it and get rid of it and it'll come off while it's still wet. So that's good that way. I'm gonna do the other side. And you can also, while you're doing this, you can stipple with the airbrush, get some of those white spots on there. What you wanna make sure about when you do this is don't leave it to dry completely. Get that on there. And again, take your towel and just kind of lightly wipe it so you don't have those hard white dots on there. It'll just end up real, real subtle. You're just aging it. Again, I call this relicking or weathering. Try and get those before they dry. And if they do dry, it's not a big deal. It's all right. So there, that's, that's okay. Now what I'm gonna do is take same technique, but I'm using red oxide. And I'm spraying the red oxide over it. Now with the red oxide, I wanna get a little bit of it on the white. Again, this is gonna be a really subtle, even though in person it looks pretty extreme, but on camera, it's probably gonna look a little bit more subtle than what you might be used to seeing with this stuff. So when you hit this, you just very, very lightly hit it over the white. Otherwise, it'll just 
be super harsh. You're just kind of making it look dirty. And over the blue, it'll give it almost like a rusty effect because it is a really perfect color for rust. The red oxide, I have not found a color that's better than the Wicked Red Oxide. So again, you can stipple with this, and especially on the white, because it'll show up on the white. Just makes it look dirty. It looks like someone hasn't washed their car in a while. So then with that, again, just wipe it with the towel. The squirt bottle technique is just something that really easy to do. Anyone could do it and it'll make something look old. Like it's been left outside too long. That's good for that. Okay, so this is something that most people have seen. You know, there's, there's different, you know, degrees that you can do this. You just take a little bit of scotch bright, and kind of hit little edges. And basically you're just burning through the paint that you put on there, you know, to make it obviously make it look like the paint wore through. This, you can do it very extreme or very subtle. It's up to you. I'm just showing you, you know, that's one of the easiest things in the world you could do. Here you can see it went through the metal. Not a big deal. You can actually utilize that by taking your red oxide and you can just kind of dust over that just slightly and when it's cleared it'll look a little bit rusty. So there's that. And again I'm just taking the scotch bright and just burning through the paint that's there. Just only hit the edges when you do this. And one thing that you can do when you're doing something like this is you can use like a, a color that mimics like a primer color. You could use just like if it's a red oxide primer underneath to where when you scratch through the paint, you're showing that primer through or a gray primer or whatever it is. In this case, you know, we're just using the white that's underneath just to show you the technique. There you go. Just hitting the edge like that just gives it, you know, that worn look. I'm going to hit these edges too. And you don't have to go all the way through. Some of this you can just see it just makes the color a little bit lighter. Like so. So there's that. So one last thing I'm going to do is a quick rust trick. And by removing the air nozzle off the airbrush and lowering the air pressure, by squeezing the hose, you can get a stippling effect. The less air, the bigger the dots will be. The more air, the smaller the dots will be, if you can see that. And this will give you kind of a really cool uh, rust trick. If you look at things that are rusted, they'll have little dots like that all over it. So I'm just going to kind of pull out like that. I'm concentrating on this one area. And what I've used is the red oxide mixed with some black, so it's a lot darker, but it's still got a rust look to it. So you just kind of do that. And that's good for one spot. And then I'm going to switch to the straight red oxide. So now I put the air nozzle back on and I switch to the straight red oxide and I'm just going to go to the top of it, just like that, and kind of streak it out from there and get kind of the surrounding area with the rust. It looks more of a stain when you move out like that. And you can stipple it a little bit as well with just the straight red oxide. It doesn't really matter. And all that gives you is, it gives you like a spot where the paint rubbed through all the way and it's just rusting over the metal, just like that. So the very last thing is if you feel like it, you can come in and just do some real subtle rust streaks going through it. Just like so. So one thing I want to point out that I've noticed when I see people do jobs like this where they're doing, you know, a lot of people refer to it as patina. I usually call it relicking, as I said, is when you're doing streaks, which on a hood it's going to be a little different because a car, you know, is 
going this way, the streaks would technically do, go down. We're taking a little artistic license with this. Always make sure that your streaks are going the exact same direction. Because if they're going slightly different directions, it doesn't look right. If, if wind is blowing a certain way or if gravity is pulling a certain way, things are always going to go the same direction, down, sideways, whatever it is. Just try to pay attention to that. And there you go. Have fun. So there you go. With a project like this, in my opinion, less is more. Um, I showed you the oxidation technique, which is very subtle. Um, using the same technique with the rust to get a little bit of a stain going on in the color. The, the streaks with the rust, keep those minimum. You know, don't overdo it with those. People tend to overdo it. The stippling technique over here for the, uh, for the harder rust spots. The rubbing through with the scotch bright is a good touch. Um, I think we kind of had a good success with this. So until next time. <laughs>